Good morning, my beautiful peeps. Good morning, good morning, good morning. How are you going today? <laughs> this morning, guys, I feel like crap and I'm going to work. And I wanted to show you, as promised, that quick hair tutorial. Excuse my red eyes. <laughs> I had a shitty sleep last night guys. Anyway, I wanted to show with and share with you guys that clip and extension here how I do it. It's only a few pieces of the hair extensions that I want to use this morning because I am and I am going to work. I don't want this to be severely long. So yeah, I wanted to share how I'm gonna make my hair go from this because it's very thinned. I'm in that transition stage guys of it growing back out to its luscious gorgeous self again. <laughs> So I want to, you know, still keep looking good. Remember number one rule, guys. When your hair looks amazing, you feel amazing, right? So, yeah, that's what I'm going to achieve today. If any of you out there are stuck on trying to get that good hair day, like I am, <laughs> yeah, watch what I'm doing. Hold up. Okay, my beautiful peeps, so number one, what I'm going to do is just do my own hair first, very fast. So I'm going to be using Kerastase Discipline Curl for that. I have wet my hair extensions already. Like that, I want them to air dry the same as my hair. And if I put in dry hair extensions, it's going to look very freaking weird, right? Brush it out so there's no tangles and then we'll go and add in the hair extensions and how many bits we need. I don't like using the whole lot that's in the pack. I'm not looking for that Hollywood, <laughs> you know, style. I just want it to look quite voluminous and lovely. So here are my hair extensions guys. They're from Bibonia. Very good brand, Curly. It was so hard to find a good curly clip-in hair, hair extension that matched my texture. I've actually gone for the color Honey Blonde and it does actually um, melt in with my normal hair because what I've done guys is I've dyed my hair brown to save, you know, to save it. <laughs> what I need to do this weekend probably is just to dye these ends here. I've wet them to try and match my wet hair. So they're like that. There's quite a few pieces here guys. There's like about eight. I'm not going to use the whole lot. I don't have time for that, number one. And I just, I, I want a normal lovely look. So that's what we're going to go for. I haven't put product in these yet. I'm going to put it in after they're on because I find that's the easiest. Now I'm after simplicity, easy, quick, fast, but an awesome result. So that's what I'm going to get. So let's get going with these. So I'm going to use the four clip one first for the bottom. I'm going to go around the back and put this one in at the bottom. Very bottom of my neck. And I'm just going to do it quite roughly really. I mean this is real life you know. I don't have a hairdresser to help me out with anything so. And use any snappy clip, even a normal hair clip will do. Ah, my hands wet. It's the only thing your hands get wet. Hold that up there. We're going to add this full clip on. It's the biggest one out of the lot. Now, bear in mind, guys, in, a, in the perfect world, I would have already dyed these just the top brown, but I haven't even had a fucking chance, guys. So, so this. <laughs> They're really quite easy, I did it the other day. So you will put this one right at the bottom. So you want to put it right up against your hair, try and get it right in the middle, as far as you can. Secure it, you don't want it to be feeling like it's gonna fucking fall off. And then you're gonna push those clips. Make sure those clips are right into that hair, eh? That feels pretty good. See that? That was easy, wasn't it? That was easy. Yep, I like easy. <laughs> now, next one. And then you'll just keep going up in layers to as much as you want. So that one's there. Now I'm going to go 
over above it. Always leave some of your natural hair out. And I usually only just do three at the back and on the side. Well, yeah, that's the plan. <laughs> Might leave that. I mean, it doesn't need to be perfect, guys. Leave some of your real hair out. The only downfall with putting them in wet, guys, is that you can actually, if you haven't dyed those, you know, the band part, you can see it, only if you're looking for it. You can see it through your wet hair a bit. So for that part here in the middle, I'm actually going to go with two threes. I think I'm doing it wrong. Uh, no. No. Yeah, there's no rolls. There's no rolls. I'm going to do two threes. So I'm going to do... So this has got three clips on it. I'm going to go here. But closer to here. Put it in there and clip that first one. Make sure it's in there, guys. Make sure it's quite secure in your hair, eh? one I know you can see that hard up but we are gonna hide that let's get this one in the other third other three so hmm. who cares if you're doing it wrong you know you've got to test these things out actually I'll put this part in here first so this is where I'm missing a lot of hair oh there we go guys and I was surprised at how easy this was to do. My battery's going to run out, so I just want to see if I can get this all in before I change it. See, I'm quite thin up the top. Which, you know, there's nothing I can do, guys. There's nothing except for maintaining and looking after my hair now. Okay, it's like that. I'm going to put one more in. Oh, no, I'm going to put one on the side, I think. Here. And then I'm going to put one more piece at the back here. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm going to do. So let's just do the back piece first. How far is that? I don't care what anyone says. As long as my hair looks good, and it looks amazing, guys, when your hair's dry. It really does. It's just trying to hide that band while it's wet. Then you know, oh, it's a bit of a. Oh well. So for the top guys, I think I've got it around the wrong way, but I don't care. I'm going to use a 4. I think I was only meant to use a 3, but it doesn't really matter. I don't think it matters. I'm going to put this right up here. Well, I would say it would be the 4. I'm going to put it here. Just to give it more volume at the back. As you can see that. Yeah. Now I'm going to go ahead and put two little ones on the side. What the hell happened here? Oh. Yes. So it also comes with a two clip one. Which is perfect for me because this is where a lot of my hair is broken off. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it here like that and then like that yeah not too forward I mean you don't want it to be fucking super obvious I'm guessing here that will do and it's a bit loose that one really need it to be secure like grab onto that here yeah, like that. And the second one to match it up, you know, go on this side. That's what I'll do. Make an open. Not too forward because you are going to see. I think that's too forward. I oh, know that feels good. Okay. Now, let your hair down. Now, this is the part that you know you need to really work on, guys, and this is the blending of it. Obviously, because my hair is so thin up top, I'm going to have to try and hide this, hide those wefts, which is all good. You can do it. 
Now that is super obvious over there, so I would get my hair clipped very shortly. Now what I'm going to do now, because it's wet, see that guys, it looks pretty good, eh? Pretty good. I've still got three pieces left, guys, which I haven't used, because I think that's just a bit too much. So now I'm just doing a blend now. I'm just going to check the back. Yeah, so you can see that quite obviously, so I will tidy that up because I haven't dyed them. You can see that, guys, see, you can see that. And that's where you'll need to cover up with your real hair. Which I don't have much of, but it will look better. And Sorry, my pants had to change the damn battery. So that's it there. Now, I'm, what I'm gonna do now is just blend it. I'm going to use some mousse, which is why I love to have them in wet. Joy Co Joy with mousse. Ah! What's going on with me this morning, guys? I'm going to say something's following me, but I don't know. Be gentle. And I like to put it, put it all together, put my products in all together with my normal hair. You can see that hard out, can't you? Sure, that's not in very tight. Let's see if I can get it in tighter. But you know, you can always. So you need to get your real hair there, guys. Just cover that bloody weft up. Just when you get your mousse in there, blend all your hair together. Put oil in it. I am not actually, you know, because I'm still testing this out. But doesn't that look lovely? But I do need to hide, obviously, because my hair is so thin up top. And this is only temporary too, guys. My hair is going to grow back to its luscious, beautiful self soon. And it will dry down. See this part here where you can actually see it? I'm hiding it for now, but when it dries, you won't see it. <laughs> so, so I say, so I say. Let's just check the back out quickly. So that's going to air dry nicely for me. Can you see that guys? It looks actually alright, eh? I mean, you can obviously see it there, but that's fine. It's going to be covered very shortly. Once my hair dries and gets more opaque. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay, my peeps, so that's it. Now, I'm going to go ahead and do a very fast makeup look. Hopefully, it would have dried down a little bit more. Um, and then I'm going to come back and just show you what looks like when I'm pretty much done. So, I'll show you a little video of me at work with my hair. And, yeah, we will check it out. Check you soon. Hello, my gorgeous, gorgeous peeps. It is I again, Janine. <laughs> I wanted to update you on the old hair extensions. Do I piss off? <laughs> hair extension situation. Um, what do you think? Very natural looking, isn't it, guys? I've tied up the sides so that you can hide the wefts with these a little bit, and. I am just, yeah, kind of leaving it out. What do you think? What do you think? <laughs> what do you think of your girl? Yeah, guys, so that's me. And what do you think of the old hair? Is it from the back? So you can give me a shot of me at the back. Yeah, there I am there. So that was quite natural. Very natural, actually. I do need to dye that. I do need to dye that, you know, um, band part on them. So that's your girl, guys. So I hope you love the hair extensions. Um, they're Bibonia, if anyone's asking. And I did scour. I scoured the internet like I do to find the best ones for curly hair because I have bought quite a few um, curly clip-ons and they're not. None of them match my curl pattern. I think I am a C or something like that, but yeah, they, they, they look totally fake. These are great and they're so soft and I'm so glad that I can actually clip them in with wet hair. So 
so yeah that's it guys i hope you enjoy um yeah very easy application as you saw me do this morning um yeah that's all i've got to say about them they're really great especially for us ladies out there that are transitioning from short hair like i am my hair's about up to here now as you saw and it's thinned and i need to grow it back out um yeah it's great Hello my gorgeous peeps, I've just gotten home and I wanted to show you the um, extensions. Ooh. <laughs> so I rolled them up like, I've just taken my bobby pins out and I've had them up kind of like that all day so I've taken that up. I thought I would just show you a quick how I'm going to take this stuff out. So they've been sitting really really well all day, I kind of bobby pin them up there to make it have a little, you know, kind of subtle look. Makeup's kind of last and I look a bit now. <laughs> but um, yeah, but I wanted to just show you how I'm going to take these out now. So they've been in all day, which is great. I'm patchy. Forget the way I look, guys. I'm like, you know, it's Friday. So um, I've hidden them. And I, I'm going to do a better job than this. I mean, this is like only... They do look quite natural, eh? They look pretty good. They pr and they blend in with my normal hair as well, which is really awesome. So don't forget, guys, I did have them up a lot nicer than this. I've kind of just pulled the bobby pins out. I thought I would take a very quick video of this just to show you how I'm going to take this out before I have a shower. So let's do it. Um, that's the first. I think that's the two one. So they just unclip really... Two. Oh yeah, that's the two one we put in, a bit fuzzy but that's okay, that's cool, one, I forgot how many we put in now, that one's gone, I'll take the side out first, where's the other one, I'm still getting used to this guy, so be with is that one, <laughs> is that one or is that my note? Yeah, this is the worst side. So there's the two one here that we put on the side. Hmm. It's just a matter of filling those clips. Yeah, here it is. Very easy to take out too. That's the two other two clippy one. Put that there. How many did I put in? I forgot. The other one. So I put I think I put three up at the back. That's a full one we put in. I've forgotten how many we put in. <laughs> it's all good. And it doesn't ruin my hair or anything like that, which I love. And they don't tug too much on your hair. So I love it. So removing them is really easy. Four. I think I put in five. Can't even bloody remember what I did this morning, guys. I've had such a bloody busy day. But the beauty of these extensions, guys, is they don't wreck your hair. I would never use anything that's going to damage my hair. That one. 